After Bobby Cox retired, he wasn't doing much of anything. Sometimes it's hard for me to get up and move. For Carol Miller, living alone means it's especially important for her memory and thinking to remain clear. I have to be in charge of a household and an automobile and my health. They both participated in a two-year study that included more than 1,600 sedentary adults between the ages of 70 and 89. Dr. Casey Sink from Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center and co-authors divided the seniors into two groups. Bobby was in the physical activity group. The goal was to get folks to walk at least 30 minutes at moderate intensity. We also did some lower extremity strength and some flexibility exercises. Instead of exercise, Carol's group attended health education seminars on different topics of interest to seniors. We measured how they were thinking, what their memory and complex processing and language function at the very start of the study. And I want you to say the name of each picture. Acorn. Dominoes. And then we measured it again at two years after they had been participating. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Both groups preserved their cognitive function over the course of two years. They stayed the same, which is really remarkable because we would have expected older adults in this age range to have declined at least some over two years. Bobby is exercising almost every day, and Carol stays active by spending time with her grandchildren. Older adults should stay active physically, cognitively, and socially. All of those things are important to maintaining independence and cognitive function as you age. Katherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.